Airbo. Dick Rochford here. This is an ILS runway 22 right at Wilmington, Ohio. The glide is present, the course is centered, and you can see from the, the uh, display we're approaching the runway, expecting a, a glide to come alive here. Uh, this is a special case because this runway also has a Cat 2 approach, which of course will have the not so uh, popular or uh, prolific uh, uh, lighting system, the ALSF2 lighting system. We've asked the controller to put the lights on high, even though the weather's good, so that you have a chance to see the mother of all lighting systems. This is important because the ALSF2 has red sidebars, and uh, those sidebars are specifically mentioned in the regulations with respect to visibility and uh, descent below DA. You may remember uh, that if you have the lighting system, the approach lighting system in sight, glides alive, and we'll wait for that to center because we're right on our airspeed of 130 knots. And Wilmington we'll Tower, Meridian 600, Bravo Tango, we are airbow inbound. Meridian 600, Bravo Tango, Roger. Runway 22 right. Cleared for the option, wind 150 at 6, and I've got the lights on step 4. Do you want the flashers on also? Affirmative. Affirmative, and thank you. 600 Bravo Tango. Go down, gear down, nacho flaps, power to 300-ish. Looking for 120, stable inside the market. Check gear. And there we have three greens, so Betty should be quiet from here. All right, so the beauty of the uh, ALSF2 is the red sidebars. Uh, the reason this is important to the serious flyer is because Part 91 aviators are allowed to continue their descent with the red terminating bar or the red sidebars in sight. Meridian 600 Bravo Tango, Foxtrot's now current. The altimeter remains 3039. 3039, thanks. 600 Bravo Tango. Lights look great. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Uh, so the importance of that is that you may not land, even though you're below DA, if you do not have the visibility for the approach. So uh, runway environment in sight, in a position to make a normal landing, and the visibility for the approach. Now, the exception is if you have the, the approach lights in sight, you may go to 100 above the runway. If you have the red sidebars or the red terminating bars bar in sight, you may continue, but you may not land unless you have the visibility for the, for the approach. So at this point, you probably hear the angels singing and <laughs> the voices from above. That, my friends, is an ALSF2. Okay. Toga, and in the M600, there is no autopilot disconnect. We just bring the power to takeoff power. And I did say that correctly. Positive rate. Positive rate. Here's coming up. Gear flaps. No need to touch the trim in this airplane. If you do, you knock off the autopilot. But as we approach the 130-ish uh, airspeed will engage filch yep. and of course nav for the mist and Wilmington Tower Meridian 600 Bravo Tango we are on the mist Meridian 600 Bravo Tango Roger what are your intentions uh, we'll be leaving the, the area thank you yep thank you very much for uh, the help this morning and uh, we're going to head back southwest towards Cincinnati Long and 600 Bravo Tango 600 Bravo Tango Roger uh, no traffic in that vicinity that I'm aware of the reason why we couldn't find the Fokker was is that I didn't realize it, but he was just basically orbiting over the field. Uh, it's just come out of restoration, and they're just giving it a shakedown run. Okay, we did finally catch him there when we made the uh, base turn uh, for 600 Bravo Tango. Thanks. 
This is Dick Rochford, fly safely. Train off.